What's up? Listen, it's time to get down to business because I know all of us are in pursuit of something. And I want to talk about the most important pursuit that I am up to. Pursuit of happiness. Now, my pursuit of happiness has nothing to do with how many things I acquire. My pursuit of happiness has to deal with, am I manifesting what's inside my soul? I don't know what yours is. You got to ask that for yourself. But there are five things you got to know when you're on this pursuit for happiness. Number one, you need to be clear about defining what you want. I already told you, for me, it's this internal game. It has an outward reflection for certain. But if the outward reflection never fully manifests, but the inward does, good. Because so many times, most of us have our perception what we think makes us happy on the inside based on the outside. And the sad news I have for you, my friend, is the outside is circumstantial. It's going to forever change. And if you're basing your life on the outside, well, you're going to be sadly disappointed. But hey, nothing wrong with pursuing pursuing it. I've got some goals and some ambitions. But the real happiness starts on the inside. We call that joy. So go get yours. The second thing is why do you want it? Have you ever thought about why you say you want certain things? What's fueling it? Is it the fear of FOMO? Is it because it makes you look like you're amazing? I recently watched a video of Chad Ochocinco when he was talking about when he was signed into the NFL. The first thing he did was save his money. He literally stayed at the stadium. He rented an apartment inside the stadium for his full first year because he knew who he was. Furthermore, the second year, they told him he needs to move out and go get a life. He got a one-bedroom apartment right down the street. Third, Shannon Sharp was talking to him and said, yeah, but you had all the jewelry, all the gold. He said, what? He said, excuse me? He said, I didn't buy jewelry and gold. I bought all that stuff fake at Claire's. He said, because the women who were interested in him didn't care. And the ones that did their homework knew what his real value was anyway, his actual net worth. So they had done their homework and wouldn't be faced by it. It's so cool when you hear people who we think have it all that are thinkers that lets us know we need to really process our whys in life. Then asked Shannon, he said, what time is it? Shannon gave him the time and he said, thank you. That was free. It didn't cost me nothing. So why would I buy a $50,000 watch? Again, nothing wrong with Boston. Just ask yourselves why. And if you find that it's just for the outward appearance, once again, you're going to be left lacking. The third thing is you got to apply yourself, baby. Nothing in life comes free. However, when you apply yourself from yourself, the pathway is not easier. (laughs) It's probably going to be more difficult because most people are not used to operating from who they are. So when they see someone else, there can be a little bit of resistance, but I encourage you to work through it because like I tell my kids, at least then you can sleep at night. You don't have to go to bed freaking out. You leave it. Hey, universe, God, I did my part. The rest is on you. And then you wake up and you dive back into it because if you don't allow yourself to really tap into what's inside of you, forget about it. This is, I mean, forget about it. Your journey is going to be freaking miserable. The fourth thing is it's going to require sacrifice. You're going to have to give up nights. I mean, look at Drake and Kobe and all these amazing celebrities who talk about the sacrifices that they make. What sacrifice are you going to make? And if you think about it, it's not really a sacrifice. It's just choosing your own path that doesn't match everyone else's. And if your why is not clear, well, it's going to be really hard. Well, the clearer your why is, the easier it is for you to make those sacrifices and keep pursuing. And the last step is give up your plans. What I mean by that is this. We often think we know exactly how it's going to work. And the truth of the matter is, You don't. So you've got to be willing to set a course, believe it with everything in you, and also be willing to scratch your plans, go back to the drawing board and start all over. Because as much as you think you're in control, you're not. This is the Monday moment. Peace.